Well, Jack, you need to dig deep there and face your innermost fears to see the next image. I don't have innermost fears. You will change your mind once you step through this door. And how do I get back? Remember what I told you last time. How you needed to fall to wake up. Only too well. Falling really sucked. Unfortunately, your mind is now prepared for that. So you need to escape in a different way. This time, you must... Uh, drown. Oh no... I'm obviously suffering from major psychological problems. What a strange place. And that looks exactly like my ship. What's going on here? What the hell? So, this is my subconscious. Well, it could be worse. But one thing could be a real problem here. How to drown. Ah, look at that. The ship has a hole. It would sink. I already told you that it was a bad idea. When will you finally trust my experience? Hey, somebody's there. I thought everyone was long gone from here. Oh, the usual story. Don't annoy me with that again. Mr. Shovel, that was another excellent joke. I don't think I've ever heard that one before. Even though we keep telling each other the same jokes here. <laughs> hmm. The more I think about it, the more familiar it seems to be. Gigantic. Excuse me, Reverend. That joke was a bit too short. But I see the hook found it funny. What do you say, Hook? We better focus on our task again. Planning. Why do you keep interrupting me? Uh, excuse me, sir. This can't be true. I think there is an intruder among us. I can't believe it. That's actually a visitor. After all this time, who are you? And what do you want? I am you. Wait, I remember. Yes, I once looked like that. I was just a little more athletic. Be that as it may, everyone's welcome here, even those who tell us really weird things. Come sit with us, Jack. And may I introduce my friends? This is Shovel, a cool treasure hunter who can tell you many a tale of adventure. And over there is Hook, a true daredevil. And the Reverend, <laughs> of course. We must always be polite to him. This is my future? Um, I mean, this is how you live? Uh, yes. Anything wrong with that? Where's the fame I was striving for? Fame? <laughs> oh well. At least the three guys here have always liked listening to my stories. Where are the riches I was seeking? Well, you know how it is. Sometimes not everything goes according to plan. Where are the friends I needed so I could brag to them? Friends? But here they are. Always there when I need them. 
My future involves the company of a mop, a hat stand, and a shovel. Terrific. I don't know or care what you're talking about. These boys here are exactly on my wavelength. We hang out all day, sharing stories about our adventures. How could it possibly be any better? What on earth became of Amanda? Well, Amanda... One day, she left me. Just out of the blue. This picture's all I have left of her. It's worth more to me than anything else in the world. There must be a reason why she left you. Think hard. You know, I made a great effort to forget many things. Especially the reason why Amanda left. I mean, it can't have been my fault. Aren't I everything a woman could ever wish for? Ready to give up something to be with her? Change things for her? Why change anything if it's going so wonderfully well? It was a stupid question. Successful? So, who wouldn't want to spend her golden years with Jack the Great? You've got a point there. Reliable? What woman would prefer reliability if she could have adventure? I agree. You're right. Jack is the best. There you are. And now get settled in and enjoy life with us. <laughs> Ugh, my virtual future self is a little bit creepy. Did we gain any new insights then? Jack! Good to see you! I will prove to you that you haven't got any real friends. I'd like to see that. Hook, shovel, the Reverend and I stick together like glue. I've got to say that you're doing pretty well for yourself. I think so too. So, make yourself comfortable and stay with us for a long, long time. Let's recap everything again. Hook and Shovel are going to jack! What on earth became... Well, Amanda... One day, she left me. Just out of the blue. This picture's all I have left of her. It's worth more to me than anything else in the world. Come on, you can find yourself another Amanda. I tried to. I roamed the entire world. From the hall doors to the palm trees back there. But I found nobody who would share their fate with mine. I've got to say that you're doing pretty well for yourself. I think so too. So, make yourself comfortable and stay with us for a long, long time. After all, Hook is our expert for unknown territory. He's still all right, crazy old Jack. So far. So, did you do that? What? Why not? Quicksand? Still, well, if I'm stuck here forever, at I least I'll have enough to read. found a way to deal with that. And eternity should be long enough to learn Chinese. Me? Oh, come on. You know I can't leave our camp. Why not? Because someone has to take care of all the important things here. Things like doing the dishes. Bottle of red wine. Let's see, Italian... That's true, Reverend. I'm it's amazing book, how long we've gone without like washing bad them. vintage. Things in this vortex spin Actually, in a circle instead of it's also amazing how long we've gone without eating. At least the kitchen is nice and tidy. Shovel, what's your opinion? Mr. Shovel, that was another excellent joke. I don't think right. I've ever heard that Crazy one before. 
itself. Even though we keep telling each other the same jokes when you to rescue her. Hmm. The more I think about it, the more familiar it seems to me after all. Excuse me, Reverend. That joke was a bit too naughty for you. Well, it think. And all settled in. Inexplicably, Amanda's picture is in the quicksand. Oh no! I must save it. I need a hook uh, to fish it out. Amanda? Oh my god, no! No, Amanda! Hang on, Amanda! I'm coming! Oh, thank God, you're alive. Oh, look, what have I done? What on earth have I done? Jack, you know, Hook was only a hat stand. But... Hmm. Now you mention it, Hook never did really do anything to help me. Wait a second. Who was I just talking about? How odd. One false friend has disappeared, two to go. And my future self is still caught in this miserable little world. What did you say, Shovel? Hello, Jack. Come. Before we can proceed, I need to do a little drowning. Will you help me with that? Drowning? In the desert? That will definitely take an effort. Of course, we should keep on planning our expedition. Hello, Jack. What is this expedition you're talking about? Huh, you know, that's pretty strange. We're actually planning this major thing, our last great adventure before we bid the world farewell. But somehow, I don't seem to remember everything now. For one thing, I cannot recall where this expedition was going to lead us. What, you don't even know what the expedition was about? No idea at all? Now that you mention it, I believe... Yes, I buried something. Something that revealed the goal of the expedition. You buried the goal of the expedition. Who would do a thing like that? Quite simply, someone who doesn't want to remember. Where did you bury the map? Um, wait, wait, wait. Um, the solution must be here somewhere. I thought of something to aid my memory. Now that seems to have worked pretty well. It's something from my past. A thing that I was somehow involved with before. It guards the clue that explains where I have to dig. Uh, that's all I know right now. I'll find that thing from the past that guards the clue. Ah, that's actually pretty intriguing. Uh, tell me where this place is, and I will dig. And then, once more, we'll tell each other about our heroic adventures. You, the Reverend, and I, the three of us, have you always been inseparable. Snap at me again, and I'll prune you. Or not. I must admit, my friends, I'm a Bottle little bit confused. Bottle of red wine. Let's see, Italian, 1880. I'm not an expert, but that but sounds like a bad But let's get back to the vintage. expedition. Let's recap everything again. Well, it no longer bites when it's drunk. But it kisses. Not much of an improvement. Shuffle was going to have a look at the surroundings. After all, Shuffle is our expert for unknown territory. Reverend, I have this vague feeling that you're missing something. I buried later. something. Wait, wait, wait.
Wait a minute. Where did the desert go? My actions seem to be changing this place. Water, flood. I think I know now how I'm getting out of here. And how I can find the Shaman's next clue. Jack? That's just weird. What is it? This isn't a treasure map at all. It's an invitation to teach at Oxford University. They wanted me to lecture there to pass on my knowledge and my experience. But that's no job for an adventurer. Why did I bury it instead of just tearing it up? Could it be that you're just afraid of commitment? What were you saying? You want me to change my recipe for success? Starting over? Ha! But that would involve risks, imponderabilities, commitment. Ah, that's not for Jack. Maybe all that wasn't enough for Amanda. Uh, I don't know. You want me to leave this perfect world? Anyway, even if I wanted to, how could I get away from here? You see my ship? For one thing, it's stranded. And it's in a terrible state. Also, the Reverend and I have some important matters to discuss. We could open the doors and let the water in. That's a daft idea. Anyone who opens those doors will be washed away by the flood. I will open the doors, and you can board the ship. Oh, sounds like you have a death wish. But somehow I feel I should agree to this plan. Once my ship is fixed and seaworthy, that is. I checked out the ship. It just needs a hole fixed. In that case, we're gonna need tar, and it must be spreadable. I'll find some. In that case, we're gonna need tar. I'll find some. A barrel full of tar for sealing joint parts so that water can't get in. A normal cooking pot, for people who think cooking in a bucket is normal.
I suppose this bucket can never be used for anything else again. In that case, we're going to need tar, and it must be spreadable. I've got some. Uh, you got tar? Well, that's good. So all we need now is a broom or, or a brush or something like that. I think this is a job for the Reverend. You mean, he must be? I think the time has come to let go. You're right. Uh, Reverend, I, I beg your pardon. May I... for a minute? And that takes care of all his... friends. A stranded ship makes my heart weep. That works. The mop's covered with tar. Now the tar can be spread on the surface. The tar sealed the leak. I hope it'll hold long enough. Believe it or not, I repaired the hole in the ship. What? You fixed it? Hmm. If you say so, it's probably true. Looks like we can set sail now. Let's go. You know the ship's stuck, so of course we'll need some water. What are we going to do now? We have to push together to open it. Ready? All right, push! So much water, octopus, Africa. Oh. Am I dead? Oh, you're awake. What the? Who are you? 
What happened? Calm down, Jack. We're in my hotel room, and my name is still Eve. How come you know my name? You don't remember? Really? Why am I in your bed? Jack, I must say I'm a little disappointed that you don't remember a thing. But when I found you, you had passed out on the floor. That could explain a few things. You found me? Yes. You were unconscious in a warehouse where I was taking photographs for a report on the strike. I'm a photojournalist. What's a photo? You know what? I should probably take you back to the harbor. You'll hardly find your way back by yourself. The harbor? Yes, I've got to go. Amanda will be looking for me. Again. Amanda? Your sister? Um, I'll explain that when I get there. Fine. But tell me, the hotel room, my clothes, did we... You know what? You tell me once it all comes back to you. Jack! Where were you? Things are getting out of control here. Well, I found another part of the amulet. But then I passed out somehow. But I now know our new destination. Africa. Wait a minute. Who is that? Is that the way people like you usually say hello? People like me? Oh, this is not going according to plan. Amanda, this is Eve. She helped me when I was unconscious. Helped you? Huh. How exactly did she do that? And why would that interest you? Exactly. Why would it? And Eve, this is Amanda. We're together, so to speak. I guess there's no better way of describing it. I'm very pleased to meet you, Amanda. Of course you're pleased, sweetie. Anyway, in the meantime, I found this engineer who can repair our ship. Wow, the ship looks incredible. Carl, this is Jack. Jack, we should get out before Hamburg blows up in our face. Let's see. The ship is fixed. I've got the amulet piece. And I know, more or less, where to find the next one. What could possibly hold us back now? Hey, you, Germans! Get back! This part of the harbor has been closed by Umbati Corporation until the strike is over. Just a minute. You look familiar. These things happen. Many people say I look like the hero Rodrigo. No, but perhaps with a different haircut. Ah, uh, my memory for faces is really bad. We must get out of the port. Not before the strike is over. Don't you listen? Whoever this Umbati person is, he doesn't get a say in where my ship needs to be. Oh, really? Uh, Mr. Harbormaster? Uh, yes, I... Uh, whatever Mr. Umbati says. <laughs> you see, when the Harbormaster says no ships will leave, then no ships will leave. All ships have been held by the Harbor Authorities and will stay here until the strike is over. And no striking worker can enter this side of the harbor. We're not workers. We're the crew of the ship. Really? You don't look like sailors to me. Amanda is my navigator? Haven't we met before, Fräulein?
Carl is the bosun. Am I? Good grief. Are you coming along or not? Oh, sure, I am. Eve over there is the reporter who'll document our voyage. What? Her? You're not going to leave me here when all hell is breaking loose, are you? I'm the captain. Captain of the Charming Princess 2. All right, all right. You may pass. <laughs> so, that's my crew. Good. You can board, but we're not letting any ships sail whilst the strikes are. And you had better keep your heads down. The end of the strike will be messy. <laughs> <laughs>